Um, moving on to another great game that came out, which was the, the Ascent. So for those in the live stream, um, I've had to dig up some of my stream footage because um, I had to clear out my hard drive space because I had was full. So the Ascent came out 29th, 29th Epic? Yeah, Maybe? yeah. Um, yeah. So for those that have no idea what the Ascent is, uh, it is essentially a top-down uh, RPG. Twin stick shooter. Twin stick yeah. shooter, yeah. yeah. Um, set in a <clears throat> cyberpunk um, world. Whippy, you've had a chance to dive into that one, mate. What do you think of it? Of uh, the Ascent? Mm. I, I've got mixed feelings about it. Um the whole idea of it I really like, but for some reason something about it's just, I don't know, something about it I'm just not liking. I don't can't actually pinpoint what it is because visually it's visually a stunning game. Yeah. They've done a good job in that aspect of it. It's just, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Something about it. I, I'll probably keep playing it and see if I can give it a bit more of a go, but I've probably put in a, probably two hours or something, which I don't I don't think is enough to really two hours, keep or miss you know. a game. <laughs> Two hours is a fair time. I, I I agree with you. I think when you first load in and you kind of get past that tutorial, or even not, I guess even in the tutorial, I think visually the game is just stunning. Like, mm. oh my god! Like you just load this game up, and and that's one thing I'm hearing at the game. And the game is definitely um stunning. Um, there's been I, I enjoy the game the gameplay mechanics. I enjoy the multiplayer aspect of it. Um, it's got some. I wouldn't say get, well. I, I know you've got. I know you're going to dive into your issues, Epic. But for the, my play experience, I haven't had any game breaking bugs, but I've had annoying bugs. So just little things like uh, bosses not spawning, and so you got to reload, or you go talk to a vendor that doesn't load correctly, so you got to reload. Or I'm I, I noticed in my last playthrough, I'm starting to get little weird uh, sound audio issues. Like mm -hmm. uh, I was playing with uh, Damo the other day, and like. I could hear the gun still shooting, but I'm like, dude, can you tap your gun gun button for a minute? And he, and he would shoot, and then the sound would go. It's just it's just little things like that. Just enough that they, they become more of an annoyance than um, anything. I'm, I'm overall enjoy, really enjoying my time, and I'm hoping to complete it soon as I get time. Um, what was your thoughts, Epic? I love it. Um, I think the the problem that people will find is they just might have difficulty being immersed in it just because it is a top down, you know what I mean? So mm. usually when we're playing games, it's either first person or we're like right behind the character. But when it's top down, it's a little bit more sort of surgical. And I think that makes it a little bit difficult sometimes to connect with it. Um, but yeah, there were a few problems, but they're, I've enjoyed it that much that I think it's forgivable though. Um, after a patch, I hope that it gets fixed. Um, some of them were in the main mission. Um, so if you were a certain, um, distance away from the objective, the, it, it wouldn't pop, for example. So some, um, yeah, different parts of main missions were broken for some people and some people they weren't. So I've contacted the developer. They haven't got back to me yet. Keep in um, mind too, this but, was a team of 12. This is not a yeah. huge team. This is a team of 12 yeah. that made this. And I think what they've yep. done with a team of 12 is. Yeah. Pretty, pretty but, but with the video that I've done, the tutorial, um, you know, there's a lot of stuff with the skills and the um, the attributes that it has that it was almost, it seemed that it was skimmed over and it made it, it didn't make it very user friendly for people. So I, that's why I made a tutorial on that because it was just like very vague. And I agree with you. Um, yeah. When you go, when you go through that menu, it's like, I think from what I heard, they tried to make it less cluttery but i actually found it the opposite because you like yeah. you're, trying, you're looking at your armor and you got all these picture icons i'm like okay well yeah. that's great but what does that actually do and you got to tap another button to bring up the text of actually what that does i would prefer yeah. to just have the icon with the name and go okay that's that marries up with that so I, yeah i definitely agree there my my other my negatives i guess around that is yeah that the, the, they, they could have done better in that space and this is being a bit nitpicky i i felt you ask maz i can create i'll create i'll create a character in five ten minutes i'm not too fussed but maz will spend a day creating a yeah, character same but in this one i felt the character customization op options could have been better like i usually yeah. like to spend two three minutes just making like a me version you know oh yeah it looks like me sweet i i, I would have had more chance of making a dj version than making me <laughs> like there was just there wasn't much options just yank the hair off and <laughs> yeah, call it a day yank there the we go <laughs> another thing that's unfortunate is that the loot the loot drops there 
they're the same guns over and over and over and over and over again and it's like the the guns that drop on the ground will have this like red light to them and it's like oh good i got loot and it's just the same guns as you've already got most of the time so um when we were playing we were like you know it'd be better to just have credits on the ground instead of having you know replicas that you had to go sell um but yeah we had the audio stuff too um so you could load in and there'd be no sound um there were points in time where i got stuck inside cars um and i didn't know that there was a taxi service until reading up reading the codex in the in the menu and the left directional calls a taxi up and i didn't know that till i was about level 17 so it was probably in the dialogue but you know i didn't find the dialogue that riveting uh yeah. so i skipped some of it um and i don't know it could be in there but um what else is there and that's another thing the lack of immersion i think is because of how restricted the character customization is too it's just here's here's a few choices see you later where cyberpunk was about the character their world where in their experience and in this one you're just sort of you know going through the motions of getting through uh the place it's pretty different i think yeah well i, it, I love it, it by the way I don't, i'm not oh, yeah. hating on it at all i love it but it's it's certainly i would never compare it to cyberpunk besides the aesthetic of well, the city it, and that's in, the, it. in this version for those that don't know you can literally create your character and usually with most character customizations that's kind of it what you've made that's it unless you go and uh, <clears> I guess <throat> spend some kind of currency or whatever to change things up but it's only minimal yeah. it's usually like hair colors and things like that you can change you can literally go to the the grafter and go from male to female female to male you can change anything it doesn't cost yeah you that's cool so, isn't it yeah it's good so that you can that, do that. i guess pro or con depending on how you look at it but yeah the, the character customization doesn't really matter you can just change yeah. the way you look at any point during your um play time um the DJ... character's so small too so you can't really it doesn't really matter so much um with the top down too dj i know you haven't had a chance to obviously play it yourself um have you seen much about it on social media i, I have else? you know the the trailers i'll be honest the trailers and the marketing for the game were absolutely spectacular and as you just saw there one of the cut scenes there is an excessive level of detail on these maps you look at the characters the size the dynamic design on them which is all impressive but when i see that as the primary form of marketing or the representation during trailers of the game for as you're trying to lay out a storyline it it's a little disappointing when you don't get that same level of detailed action. It's because it's an R it's an RTS. It's a top down. Now that is just my opinion. I am not an RTS player. I played Halo Wars two, and that was sort of a top down RTS, but that was just me. Visually, I think they did an astounding job. I would love to see this transformed into a first person or even a mm. third person uh play style because i think these maps in, like they're they put in such a significant level of detail into this game from the, the weapon trails everything that's going on with the characters obviously there's a significant level of design with the characters and you've got so much going on in the background we really need to find a way like epic was saying to get to become more immersed and become more uh, i would say just more embedded within the community with i mean within the environment of this game Oof, like, i want to be i want to oh yeah in a first person this would be oh, wild yes. oh yeah so wild vr but, imagine it in vr oh yeah <sighs> but the but the flip side is you lose some of those gameplay mechanics that are iconic and typical that come you know in an in a um an rts style game and so there you know you'd have to redesign some of the gameplay elements and how you manage to functionally operate your team your weapons your drops in a new and different way and it would be basically tearing the entire game apart and starting over yeah but like this scene right here is incredible and i know i'm probably watching a few seconds behind yeah my um you go uh, from this light and bright I'm explosions talk. dark reds it's greens the, yeah. great use of color the color it's the, yeah. it's the color from it's the color it's for me it's the colors it's like oh explosions yeah prettiness and I'm I'm in love with the it's very vibrant. I'm lo I'm in love with the shotguns. I'm all I'm all shotguns in my building on it. So I'm just running around with multiple shotguns going bang bang bang. Um, but uh, definitely a lot harder in the single player. I felt um, you, you had to play a lot differently. In multiplayer, I felt a little bit more free because of the support. But multiplayer is so much fun. Multiplayer is so much fun in this. <clears throat> um, but yeah, it looks. Uh, are, and we're, are we allowed to swear on this show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. <laughs> 
Okay, awesome. Also, fuck you guys listening to the podcast. You're missing all the great videos. You should go back and watch the VOD. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> you missed out, suckers. <laughs> yes. So if you ever want to catch the, for those that are listening in on the show, like we subscribe. We, we try. We try. We, we try and uh, put some gameplay in there for the live show, so they got something. Oh good. Oh good. See, so. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because I like really people. Sh- people should really get to see this. I think it's a really br- like this is a really brilliant example of what goes on in this game. See, look at how dark that just got. Yeah. It's so creepy. Yeah, this room here was beautiful. Like, I think I actually commented on yeah. the thing. I go, wow, look at, the, look at the explosions around the fire and stuff. It's just like, oh, my God. Yeah. It's just that that, that there is just like, it's so, <clears throat> so good for me. Mm-hmm. I, was, I think I even commented on the, on the live stream. But I think I'd have to give, uh, I'd probably give Ascent at its current state seven and a half. What about you, yeah. Epic? What would you, would you... Yeah, I reckon that too. Just because of the, you know, the the, the story isn't that riveting to me. But I just, I just love playing it. So... I'm gonna go for. I don't want to give it a seven. I kind of want to give it more, but it, it's it it deserves a seven. Needs a, it needs certainly a, deserves needs, a play. Yeah. Holy, holy smokes! See, yeah, cutscene. These cutscenes. Yeah, yeah, they're beautiful. Yeah, they they did they did a good job. They did a good job in this area. That's why I think I, I think I think that's why it scored them so high. It's just they've just yeah. done such a good job. But not even that. Like, it's keep in mind. This is I I think this is demo story. But even in the multiplayer, it's still bringing in all the characters for that immersion. Yeah. So it doesn't matter if you've got one, two, four of you, it'll bring in all of you to kind yeah. of interact. So um, that was really good. Um, so that's the Ascent, guys. Again, I, again on Xbox Game Pass.